welcome to Lee's Family Kitchen and Food in Foil on Fire. Today's campsite recipe is white chicken and mushroom lasagna. Pretty simple chicken. I kind of cut it up ahead of time and I did pour a little um, olive oil over it so it wouldn't stick when I put it all together and I did squeeze a um, eighth of a cup of uh, minced garlic on it and stirred it all up. I'm using Swiss cheese. You can use any cheese you prefer. Cheddar, you can use Mexican. Parmesan doesn't melt quite as well, but so I use Swiss. I'm using oven-ready lasagna um, shells, so that's don't use the ones that you have to pre-cook. We want to use oven-ready. Some Alfredo sauce and a small package of mushrooms, which I have already cleaned and cut up, and one can of cream of mushroom. So it's just going to be a layered thing. I'm going to put a little mm -hmm. Alfredo sauce in. I'm putting the, the liquid in the bottom. I know sometimes it doesn't make sense, but because I'm going to place noodles on them, um, I want to make sure they have some moisture down there. So you can break these up any way you want. Okay. First cross them, break them to fit in the corners. This kind of comes out like a little uh, basketball. So, all right, now I'm going to put some chicken. The, the reason I put oil on because it will help the chicken cook faster, but it will also won't, the chicken won't come out one big clump because the oil's on it. So there's that. Add a little cheese. You could do this with sausage if you wanted to. Maybe some hamburg. Um, we like chicken around here, so that's why I use chicken. Right, hey, put the whole bag. I got two bags of it. This is where I only have one can. I'm going to kind of put this in the middle. And then I'm going to put the mushrooms on top. I know you don't have to dilute it because I'm going to add one cup of water at the end here to give it a little bit more moisture. I'll spread that around. These recipes are so easy. You can make them ahead of time and throw them in the fridge and just throw them on the grill. Put a little Alfredo. All the liquid will cook these noodles. Do this. You could even make this vegetarian if you wanted to. Zucchini. Uh, broccoli, squash, anything out of the garden. You could actually even do this with maybe a little bit of pumpkin would be neat. That'd be something different. So I'm going to put the mushrooms on. If you don't have a whole lot of room to put all the mushrooms, that's okay. I'm just pushing it down. Put the chicken. This is going to be a heavy one, Matt. This is going to be... It looks pretty heavy. This is probably going to weigh about six pounds when it's all done. Maybe even seven pounds. All right. More Alfredo. I'm actually going to put my, a little bit of cheese here because I want the layers. This is so much fun to do with kids. The kids love this. I know it's going to sound funny, but I'm going to put noodles on top and I'm going to push them down. And the water that I pour over the top here will help cook these. I need a service card, please, for a customer. As you can see, business still is going on at Lee's family. Um, we have to keep things going. So there's that. All the Alfredo. Boy, this is really going to wait ton. I'm going to put a cup of water in one of my jars and just shake her up. I mean, I guess you didn't. if you didn't want white, you could do red. Uh, use a red sauce. Now I'm just pouring this so it goes down in all over the noodles. Just like that. When you take it out, don't worry about the spillage at all. When you take it out of the bowl and put it on your grill, it's okay if some liquid falls out because there's plenty of it. So now I'm going to top it with a leftover cheese. Remember, you can make this veggie style. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll this up. I'm going to try to not get it real close to the cheese so it doesn't burn on, but if it does, I'm sure there's someone in your family that would eat crunchy cheese, so. And I will not be flipping this. It's going to cook for an hour and a half on medium grill. So, oh yeah, she weighs about seven or eight pounds. So remember, I'm going to put a medium grill, about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. I may check it at like an hour and 10 minutes and open it up so it gets crunchy on the top. Then I'll take it off and mm -hmm. we'll see if we need to like leave it on the grill much longer. Maybe get it a little crunchy. Oh my word, it looks so good! So that's what it looks like and it's getting crunchy on its own. You know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let it cook for five more minutes to get the top crunchy and then we'll be ready to see it. Welcome back. 
This was on the grill for medium to a little bit over medium for about an hour and 15 to 20 minutes. I opened it up the last 10 minutes and I let it get crunchy. The noodles are nice and crunchy. It's nice and soft. So now we're going to serve it. All right. Get over here, Maggie. Let me see. I want you to just try the, the chicken. The chicken has a lot of flavor on it. Like I said, if you don't want to do chicken, sausage, hamburger, you like? All right. I'm going to serve it to the crew now. I sure hope you have a great day.